Yo, yo, yo. I'm your host, Mac 10. Welcome to the Dope Cast. Yo, what's up, bro? It's my co host, Pat, <laughs> Navigator. What do do, and today we got a special guest, guys. A very special guest. Prince of Broken Beats. Like <laughs> Powell. The one and only, Mr. Cool Affair. Mm-hmm. Welcome, brother. Black Power Chance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on your love. You know, you know. How are you doing? How are you doing? Today? How are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm good, good. I'm good. Yeah. taking it easy. Yeah, you know? okay. good. But you know, before we get started, you know, let's just uh, sample one of your tracks from your yeah, new yeah, album. Yeah, for sure. For a young sure. teaser. A young you know, teaser. Why not? Yeah. You know, we got this shit on lock out here, man. So this is composed, made by you. Yeah. The whole thing. By everything. Yes, sir. That guitar though. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to those chants. Oh, bro. My man. This is you, bro. Yeah, man. This is me, man. <laughs> Just toying around, you know? God. Please, please come play at my wedding, bro. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> please. I'm there. Don't worry. For sure. You know, we're gonna feed you good, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Gonna, gonna Seven know. colors. We're gonna feed you Seven good. colors. There might be an eighth one.
It's the name's Navigator. If y'all didn't catch that, Navigator GPS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South yeah, Province. That's the navigation. Yeah. And you, you got know. your mayor of the South here, Nova Mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Y'all already know Mac 10. Yeah, Wayne. for sure. My name's Mac. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? We're loving it. Yeah, hey, man. That's what it is. That's yeah, what man. it is. That's yeah, what it yeah. is. You know, just fucking out. Yeah. But how's things going, bro? How's the music, bro? Hey, man, I'm loving the music lately. Mm. Uh, I'm inspired. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. We, we can tell by the song, man. We yeah. can tell by the song. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. one thing I can say about that song is that's a sound that many people are not even accustomed to, you know? Yeah, for sure. And, I feel you, bro. and everyone is obviously... It's a, we're always in a in a society where everybody's going mainstream. Yeah. So it's actually very refreshing to see somebody going. Uh, Keeps the standard. That's yeah. key root. Yeah. yeah. Independent you know? vibe. Yeah. You know? yeah. From, from grassroots level. Grass yeah. From a yeah. grassroots yeah. level. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. thorough, authentic, it's beautiful. authenticity. Yeah. You know? For sure. Yeah. I, I, I like the fact that you guys recognize it for what it is, which is grassroots. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, the underground space. That's what it's called within the community. You know? Yes. The yes. Underground yes. music gang. Um, it's not as it, tough as people think. No, no, like, oh, no, it's no, no. It's it's good. it's basically a very it's it's a competitive space, right? But it also has a whole lot of humanity. Yes, yes. And yes. if you can identify the two, you can mm-hmm. create something very special. Okay. If you're an sure. artist, for sure. Not just a musician. You can you can draw. You can be designing clothes. You know, if if you can just try and find balance wherever yeah. you are, mm. you can do amazing stuff based on what you see, what you experience. Where, where did you draw your inspiration from, bro? Hey, man, <clears throat> I'm, 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 a, I'm a nationalist and a sovereignist and an African fundamentalist. So Hello, my, inspiration, Hello, okay. <laughs> my inspiration comes from um, studying our history subjectively, not objectively. Okay. So I become okay. our great ancestors and then I try and fuse that uh, to the music frequency the divine frequency, as I call it. For instance, let me give you an example. Um, <clears throat> on this vinyl, I wanted to bring about a sound of Fela Kuti and Stimela. What would have happened if they met in studio in the 90s and actually yeah, came up with music, yeah, you know? Yeah, so so, so th- that's exactly what I was aiming for with this time to so, so you went back I went past. back. I went back to the past yeah. to speak to the future. The that's right. That's profound. That's profound. <laughs> that's profound. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Profound, bro. It's, it's it's basically a very very important project that I had to do. Um, why? Why is it important to me? Simple. Um, we we need to honor the musicians that came before us and put us on the map for so long. I mean, the world is competitive, as we know, right? Yeah. And our artists and musicians have stood the test of time under extreme measures, under circumstances, you know, circumstances that are very challenging to a human being, yeah. you know, not just an artist, but a human being. Um, <clears throat> here I'm talking about the oppression that black people have faced and continue to face. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Um, so... I've always tried to fuse my music with our pain um, and express our pain in a frequency uh, aspect because theoretically we have tried (coughs) and we are failing to get people to a neutral ground, right? And that's spiritual right there. It's It's spiritual. spiritual. Yeah. So I'm trying to make people aware of the importance of Africa. Sure. The importance of being in Africa. As a human being, as an African. It's a reminder. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We we have to honor and celebrate the ones who came before Before us. us. um, Because we would like to see the same done for us. Yeah. Do you understand? Absolutely. Uh, But, you know, there comes a lot of responsibility with with demanding demanding such power. Because now, what you are asking for is for your name not to die. Yes, yes, yes. Um, not in vain, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, not in vain, yes. Do you understand? And and another thing is we need to understand that we have a sacred responsibility to carry out uh, in this existence. Do you understand? That um, actually reminds me of a line I once heard that as African people, we are vessels of our ancestors. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I relate, I relate. That's, that's honesty. That's the honesty. physically living. 
are yeah. dependent on the wisdom of the ancestors. Yeah. I mean, sure. uh, uh, the truth Fact. is, if you're not rooted really in that. something, yeah. Yeah. what do you call back on when of someone course. says what, is, what it is? And I feel like, you, well, I, I mean, it's not so pretentious. I mean, me, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's it's also our own truth. I yes, think yes. the people lived in a different time and yeah, they, yeah. they felt like going to war yeah. was your honor, you know. Yeah, and yeah, in yeah, a yeah. sense, doesn't mean making a good yeah. homage yes. to what you've produced yeah, yeah, and yeah. from the south. So I mean, I, I love that, you know. Yeah, man. Diamonds, <laughs> yeah, man. diamonds in the rough. Yeah, yeah. diamonds in the rough. Baby. South is home, born and bred, raised. South is home, man. How long sure. have you been doing this for? All my life, ah, you know, all my life, man. Me, I'm so, telling you, like, when, I, did you I come, when did you start like dropping music? Bro? Dropping like, music, getting into the studio. Okay, studio. Two thousand six. Shots fired. Two thousand six. <laughs> Shots Two thousand six. Sure, sure, you know, sure. um, I was an underground hip hop cat. He knows. He knows very well. Um, you guys go way back. Uh, yeah, man, way back. Way, way back. Ah, so, uh, were you surprised to see me here today? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's the sound. It's true. For sure. This is what it I love about the sound. Together. It culture. Yeah. You know what I'm if, saying? If, if, it's if you are sound, you know what's going on yeah, right now. Yeah, so you sure. act normal because you know yeah. it's South energy. Yeah. You understand? So Absolutely. I'm also representing you guys on a global scale. For sure, bro. You know? We can't um, you, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I've got you. you, know, you. Know, we saw Black Coffee posting your shit. We saw that shit. I don't even know what the hell we're pressing right now, but fuck Where'd you find that? Yes, man. You know what it is, dog. Shit, bro. That was a fast vinyl. Congrats, bro. How did that how did bro how did you feel when you like No how did it come about? How did you find out people were you following him? Do you follow him and did you see like his story and you just saw your shit there or like how? So I've got this friend, right? Yeah. Um, he's a DJ. Okay. Um, by the name of Boy Sanza. Great DJ, great DJ. So he bought the record because he knows coffee close. Okay. okay. And then he's like, listen, I'd like to get a copy for so, know, the front man. Sure, said, sure. Cool. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, sure. okay, cool. And then we kept on speaking. You know, I, I, have you given this guy this thing yet? Like, no, no, not yet. You know, he's out the country, obviously. You know, it's coffee. Yeah. And then he goes, he wins a Grammy, he comes back. I think now he got his uh, record. And you see, that's a, that's a chat I'm going to provoke you later, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to provoke you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like, so he posted it. Um, he didn't you have feel? to. But how did you feel, bro? Like, as an artist who's like, Pushing in the game, bro, yeah. and someone who's like at the top, bro, recognize to, you to recognize you, bro, um, and, and not just recognize you, but like repost your shit. You know how many yeah. people could have seen that shit? Bro? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. So at, at that, the time, that, that did, probably fucks yeah. with the movement that you're trying to push, bro. Of course. Of course. Prince of Broken Beats. What's yeah. up? <laughs> what is Broken <laughs> Beats? <laughs> Guys, what is Broken Beats? I'm really, I'm uneducated as fuck. What is Broken Beats? Music without laws. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. For simple folk, for me. Well, it's a, it's a improvised, it's, it's an improvised kind of music. There's no set structure to it. There's no, we are doing one, two, three, because all of the time it's always been one, two, three. Um, it's improvisation and obviously using musical IQ to yeah. judge whether you are coming up with something that's worth listening to, something that's worth a musical ear that's out there because musical ears uh, relate. Yeah, you know? for sure. But it's melodical nonetheless because there's a pattern. That's there, the yes. only thing I've ever... Like, the only music that really starts getting like weird for me at some point is like garage garage band music you know rock the bands. UK stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah it starts that's where I start getting the more like touching hence you said like yeah. off camera you're like <laughs> you've taken African broken beats and UK sounds and mm -hmm. amalgamated into something fucking beautiful yeah. right yeah. and I'm 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 always blown away at the fact that sure we always uh, you know sub subscribing <clears> to some <throat> sort of sound that says you know this is this is what it is but it's always the melody that makes it like yeah. You know, this is how we know exactly yeah. that's the one we yeah. know. When I'm listening to some soulful jazz, yeah. I know exactly what type of jazz or sub genre is yeah. is being like exposed to or played on. Yeah. So how 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 do you think one could have an ear to pick that out besides being naturally gifted at seeing it? Um okay. Firstly, I like how you explain broken beats. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Mr. Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, 
can I give you from my experience? Mm. Sure. <clears throat> I was brought up in a household that loves music. Um, so there was a lot of jazz music. On top of that, I was a 90s R&B kind of guy. You know, I, I love my 90s R&B. And I did dabble in the 60s and 70s music that came out there from the soul group besides jazz. Um, growing up in an environment where you're surrounded by jazz music, R&B, underground hip hop, and then house music, right? You will be able to dictate what kind of rhythm works for you. Yeah. So, in my case, what kind of rhythmic understanding do I have? My ryth rhythmic understanding is sweet chords, sweet bass, nasty bass, groovy drums. Mm. I don't care what genre it is. If you can merge those three frequencies, you have already reached, reached a level close to divine frequency. Yeah. Now, <coughs> divine frequency is when you take that and you explore, you start exploring with the most common things. Where, that, does, where does that divine frequency come from though? Your, yourself. This, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, deep within. Deep within. Certain things cannot be explained by English because they're beyond the language, language. itself. Language, like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I don't feel that. You will know when you have the divine frequency mm -hmm. because you can risk at any moment and you know you're not losing even if other people see it as a loss. I feel you. So, and that's a great so, way to explain it because uh, uh, I've actually picked up over time that when it comes to music, for me myself, the way I see it, like there's 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 lyrics and there's instruments. Like instruments, I instruments affect me more than any lyric can. Mm -hmm. um, so when he talks about the divine frequency, it stems from that ability to hear certain notes, chords frequencies and that's like classical music even classic in like in all genres i mean like there's yeah. good music in all genres yeah. but uh there's masters in each of those genres that have absolutely hit the the pinnacle you know absolutely. and so yeah even from him coming from a diverse background it makes a lot of sense that yeah and actually i've actually paid attention to a lot of kids who have come from a household where jazz was a thing they have sort of a almost a, a, gro a broader perspective yeah. you know group. yeah they have a broader ear to to, to picking up music to creating music and even judging music, you know? Yeah. So I, I actually it's, fully it's, understand it's where like it's coming a from. A language. It's like it's education. Yeah. It's, it's educational. It's, very you educational. can understand jazz. Yeah. You understand a language that understands a lot of languages. Scat. Yeah. Scat, yes. Scat comes yes. from jazz. Yes. Scat comes Scatting, from jazz. Scatting, all, all this blues, the, all this music is there for a reason. Yeah. You know what I see it? I see it as an adapter, you know, and it's actually a, comp a component to actually translate yeah. the the ancient sounds or the more standard like um what's the what, what do they call it the the fundamentals yes, the yes. fundamental sounds the drum yeah. the 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 chords all the most basic the of everything, basics yeah, of everything. Yeah. and they found like a, an adapter that allows us to come into a space where it's like yo okay how do we appeal to the audience that we have right now yeah you know what i'm saying because yo can i be honest with you i hate i'm a piano <laughs> Look, like um, it is dog. It is dog. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I I love it and hate it uh, at the same time. It's dog. Because Tell me why. Tell so me there's why. something I've picked up. Um, <laughs> I don't know I'm I'm saying, this is a classical man. Hear my opinion. Ah, no, we here. We here. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, I don't really listen to this shit, bro. Like, well, I look, can't tell you this yeah. is on a piano and this is. No, but what would you call right now? This track we just heard. Jazz, bro. Yeah. Did you call it jazz? I would call it. It's jazz, okay, it's more. It's, it's, it's a house more, jazz. More, more, yeah, yeah, a house yeah. Jazz. Like a funky jazz. Um, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm a piano like? It's it's amazing music, right? What yeah. I've picked up, what it does to people is people who only listen to a piano become deaf to other music. <laughs> That's Ooh. why I mean, and you know, I, that's that legacy I know that's very controversial to say, but it's something it's I picked up uh, when when I, when I go around to different. Uh, 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 venues of, of of different sorts and and, and uh, just events, you know. So, I I think it's amazing music. At the same time, I, I believe and have seen that it, it deafens those who are uh, religious towards it. You know. Okay. Um, okay. D to, so that I understand where you're coming from, and I totally agree because I've seen it. Um, we also need to keep in mind that it is a very strong 
genre okay, a force do, of do nature people, do people not resonate to you because it means now for any artist watching our show yeah, yeah. Um, do we even come to these fucking interviews I mean do we even show up and still like carry our flagship and say yo no 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 this is what I subscribe to and this is what I want to put yeah. out there you know what I'm saying bro you gotta keep pushing at what yeah. you do bro I mean no matter, sorry, no, matter, sorry, I mean, no matter the genre you're in dog okay this guy has chosen probably a a very the most difficult genre yeah. to do. Yeah, this. this is the whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Purposely, listen. How many niggas are listening to jazz right now yeah. on their phone? You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. probably not a lot, and yeah. if you are, it's not a lot of tracks. And also another thing you know about this, yeah, even about what you're saying, uh, there's uh, even if you do have jazz, many people have maybe a few selected songs. The, bangers, the, the bangers, yeah, the bangers. Now yeah. the, the thing that uh, assists <laughs> guys like like him is it broadens your ability to to make music. You yeah. know. He's not limited to only making house. He's not limited to only making hip hop. Oh, even if he, yeah. even if he really wanted to, he can get into the studio tonight and come out with a good enough Ama Piano song because he is really he's ear is is is, is, is experienced enough. Cool yeah. Is this a yeah. fact? Is is that what you you're know? saying on record? What he's saying is a fact. Absolutely. And I want to back it up by saying, men understanding spiritual information clearly. I repeat. <laughs> You men, pay attention. <laughs> men uh-huh. understanding uh-huh. spiritual yeah. information. Yeah. That's your vibration of music, guys, for sure. I hope you learned something today. High Bless. vibration. <laughs> men understanding spiritual information clearly. Only men. When, oh, guys, there's DJ Waffles. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be. No, no. Dramatic. Trust me, our women are strong. Okay. Yeah, they're very strong. Um, they've always been strong and they'll carry on being strong. Um, when I say man, I mean it in, as, as the entire species, like the, yeah. the African race itself, because I, I did say I'm a nationalist. So when I speak, I speak in favor of the African for far, too, for far too long. For far too long, Africans have been told they are average when they are excellent. And now this is affecting their creative juices. So sure. we need to spin that. Sure. We, we, we can't be worried about who's saying what, what's going on, what's the narrative. We need, to, we need to change the narrative. We are in a space where we can do what we want and, and distribute it to the world. Yes, for right? sure. So that, that's the beauty of times like now. Yeah. yeah, that's the, the internet. Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use that tool. That possible. Yeah. Globalization. Let's right use there. that tool to, to, to actually test out our potential our true pet- That's this is what I'm doing for the past three years I've been releasing music every month on Bandcamp for sure yeah 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 Yeah, tell us a bit more about that yeah please bro um, wh- so, why don't you drop on all these other platforms but you specifically chose Bandcamp yeah Bandcamp yeah it's like so, your go to platform or something so let's start with these other platforms right okay okay I got no beef with these other platforms. Yeah. Right? But they're ripping people off. For sure. They yeah. are. I mean... And it's not a name and drop for now. <laughs> why, why, do you say, why do you say they're ripping people off? Man, I've always seen people say they've got a million streams. Okay. What does that amount to? And how can... On which platform? Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Okay. Need, what does that amount to, we need to, really? to? We need to look that up. What? How can he be a billionaire, the owner? Yeah. And the artist still suffers. And yet they have a million streams. It's a finesse game, bro. So yeah. I you, know, you know what yeah. happened? Finesse game. Uh, recently, there was a, a, a music producer whose album was number one on iTunes, Deep House, if I'm not mistaken. And... His album was removed because it seemed as if he's not with any major label. They they sabotaged his 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 his, you know, deserved win of support from the people and stuff like that. The people that support what he does. So that's just another sabotage. Do you understand? But now that was not the reason for me to leave. I just thought it's taking time. It's not even motivating enough. It feels like I'm signed under a record label where I'll have to release every three months or a year. And do you get that on Bandcamp? On Bandcamp, you can release now and get paid now. There's no middle. No, no, like now, as in now. Now. F&B, Capitec. PayPal, 
it goes into your PayPal account. From your PayPal account, you will put it into your FNB account, right? So there's so no middleman. Hey, man, it even goes as far as people contacting you directly, asking for exclusives. This is what happened yesterday. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. Someone from the UK buying exclusives. Yeah. Because he knows that I've got PayPal. He's like, can I just pay you directly? Yeah. I want this song. I heard it on yeah. your on your channel and stuff like that. I saw, I saw, I saw a post you posted the other day. Yeah. A status you posted. Um, sorry, I saw a post you... Yeah. A status you posted the other day. Yeah. Um, I wanted to know... Question. It said, the, the caption is NFT music. Yes. And the NFTs yeah, yeah. I know are obviously yeah, non fungible yeah. tokens. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Crypto type of things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So... Oh, explain more about that like and, and it looks like you're cooking up something in the studio I was cooking well, up something so, uh, well, what is that bro like no, what you're working on th there's a frequency going around Joburg right now with this NFT business yeah <laughs> so you know you gotta stay ready sure, you know, you, sure, sure this is this is where spirituality must meet political reality what's NFT I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> we need to understand what's going on in this reality while we maintain our spiritual grounding, right? So I've been hearing about NFTs. Hey, <clears throat> you can invest, what, what, what. So I too want to find out what exactly it is. Okay. But I want to be ready just in case I like it. So I create the music. Do you understand? And then I'll just put it on standby. So when I posted that, I actually wanted information about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. Now, but once, once, once I have the information, I'll share with you guys. Look, right. what I know about NFTs, basically, like kind of, like kind of like the the pictures everybody's uh, posting and making their profile pictures. All these celebs. Yeah. So it's a non fungible token. Okay. So it means like if it's a picture, for example, on your yeah. phone, there's only one of that picture. Okay. And you have the certificate to the original. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I like painting. and the shit's valued at like hundreds Crazy of thousands amount. of dollars, fifty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it can go up or down, you know, okay. in price and value, just like crypto does. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So there's there's like one of each, like of the special ones. You know what I'm saying? A lot of projects have been made and shit. You know, and it can be in any any. Yeah, like um, it started profession. with like I think it started with like pictures, emo like you know what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys heard about it, but it started with like pictures, normal pictures, and people start like editing them and shit and oh, yeah, cartoon yeah. like cartoon, type yeah, pictures, yeah. yeah. And then they sell it on 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 crypto, and it's sold for like uh, Ethereum or something. You buy it with Ethereum. I, I, I guess you know I can make saying? a special song to you. So <laughs> apparently, like I also saw something of Tory Lane's um, NFT. He sold the NFT song. Wow! Oh. And it made him. He sold it for a million. Hmm. One USD. So yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. This was uh, I think like the beat or him as the track. A song. Him making one song, like one song. So. There's only one. Only one person probably has it, which is the person that bought it. Bro. Yeah, that's interesting. interesting. Man, I can so, play in that space. So now, that song is worth way more now, you know, because it's an NFT. Yeah. Exclusive. You know what I'm so highly exclusive, yeah. only one track, you know, the buyer gets the certificate. Damn. If anything, I can see a lot of... Uh, that's like vinyl. Mainstream record companies fired up right now and angry. <laughs> oh, they're not sleeping right now. <laughs> with all these NFTs. With, with this right now, yeah, and, you and know. Band uh, camps and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, bro. It's <laughs> Ooh, restless. Yeah, we need it, it's the stress. It's a, it's, a, it's a very rocky future we're yeah, heading towards. But you know, yeah. you know, but that's, but the, that's that. the crypto. We need, yeah. we need that. that. That's the crypto. We that's need the that. way we crypto is heading, bro, with the NFTs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But obviously, you need like big bucks. Yeah. to get into NFTs you know especially if you want to like buy the shit yeah right? well it makes sense it makes sense yeah, if, it, if, it's, if it's if it's worth you know the value you know yeah, it, it will and it's, it's, it's worth the value we give it yes, yeah. as exactly. people yeah. fun know, fact so just like anything else is for sure for yeah sure. fun fact yo like there, there was a friend of mine who worked for um, F uh, no, he went to a, a 
I'm not mistaken, on Google, if uh, uh, Facebook, um, what they call it, seminar, one of yeah. these uh, summits. And he was like, sure, uh, where's the market going? So he isn't doing marketing. And he explained to me that basically most apps that sell and do well, the reason they do so well is because they have free access to anyone. And that's why their numbers in the stock value goes up. And he explained that basically in, Amer in America as it stands, the only reason why a lot of the things and they get so many views is because a lot of people have access to Wi-Fi and so forth. But they're working with the 400 million, 380 million population. And not everyone subscribes to the same Last time I checked, it was about 330 for what I'm mistaken. But yeah. But yeah. And he said basically by 2022, and this was information I heard of basically in 2018, mm -hmm. they told me that the market in Africa was going to double that because we already have a population over 400 million. Mm, yes. we have, um, so basically, if we're there, we can compete with the streams and the views. So it doesn't mean that all operations are focused in America. It's like, sure, if we subscribe to Afro, Afro Beats and mm -hmm. Afro House and all these things, we are building our own economy. It's just as a sidebar for people to you know, focus on for how sure. important it is. got to subscribe to your industry so it can grow. And, but also the sidebar he explained to me is that, that most people in Africa, that could also be half. Those numbers, if we think it's, if the numbers say 400 million, he said that we have to also pay attention to the consumers might have more than one phone, which I think most people in Africa actually do. I mean, worldwide, yeah. but more so in places that are heavily congested, they might have two phones and that in some sense doesn't really subscribe to your views and all that. But I mean, I'm saying this so that it allows artists also who are still coming up not to be like deterred by it, but understand your market so that you know where you're heading. Because I feel like a lot of artists can make a lot of money. I mean, I'll throw a name. It's not an African brand, but uh, an, an African uh, artist group, but it's Little Dragon. If I, I don't know if you guys know about yeah, Little Dragon. Yeah, yeah. And there's such a, it's such a niche niche thing. If you know them, you listen to them. I, I, I'm i going to be biased like that. If you know them, you listen to them. And they still draw out numbers. And people like Shikana and so forth, you might not hear them in billboards, but they're still making they're still making money. So it's digital and still putting in that extra hard work and showing up to live events. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Everybody has their little um, culture following brotherhood, sisterhood, or yeah, yeah, family, yeah. you know? Um, and I don't. I don't think there's anywhere in the rule book where it says, as a musician, you can't have that. You know, absolutely. Um, your your own following that even likes the way you dress, so you even probably would like to take on the Bye. your type of fashion. Yeah. For instance, what I'm wearing is made by my lady from head to toe. Oh wow! You know, oh wow! So Trippy. yeah, yeah. yeah. She made well, this jersey. Nice. She made the track pants. That's nice. And bro. the whole thing. The whole thing. She made this. That's nice. So bro. this is how I. I how like do we to, find this? From me or her, you know, uh, Max. Instagram page. Yeah, Facebook. yeah. It's it's Max and Pegamina Coco on Facebook and Instagram. For sure. You know, for yeah, sure, but. For sure. um, I'll send you the details, you know, if you want for sure, some no, details. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, so she 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 started off making clothes for women, you know, figure eight women and stuff like that. So what's what's figure eight? You know, the curvy number, women. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. For lunch. Sorry, 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 because sorry, because sorry. of the small yeah. waist, they don't have <laughs> sizes and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So she was like, no, no let me make dresses. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <high>. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, she started experimenting T-shirts. I mean, even the T-shirt I'm wearing underneath, you know, buys oh, yeah. material. Through and through. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to you. Gas to, gas to, gas to. So, <clears throat> yeah, man, I just I, I just thought it's it's best I invest my time and my clothes, like, on my clothing investing in in her business you yeah, know so yeah, she makes well. everything i work because when you guys will makes me look good you know everyone happy. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Course, yeah, yeah. Guys, we're going to put the links in the description, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, for Blitz, sure. For sure, for Blitz. sure. Blitz. Now we got you, yeah, bro. Man. We got you. We so got you. every musician has his little, you know, following. It grows. It grows, you know. It, it varies with people. Um, if you're likable, lucky you. <laughs> and, you know, so, yeah, it's different cultures uh, within the same one big branch of, yeah. you know, family tree of music. For sure. You know, we've got your spin-offs from genres, subgenres, as they say. Yeah. Um, I've, I've tried to play away from um, 
gating my music into genres because it also limits my creation. Creates a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, because now I always have to think about what you know me for. Mm. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah. Sorry for bro. Please. Sure. So, with me, you must always expect the unexpected. Keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. Call me or some water, man. Some water, please. Water. Yeah. Oh, we love water. it. <clears throat> so, today you might hear house. Tomorrow it will be hip hop. The next day it will be jazz. Yeah. You know. You don't want to be boxed in. No, I don't. I'm having fun, man. Yeah. The whole point is to have fun. There Would you we go, go to Wall Reef City there we go. and ride one ride and then, exactly. okay, fine. I'm You're missing out on how much yeah. out. Exactly. You're missing out. But you know, there's so much. Cues, man. Yeah, I mean, look, we understand. The, <laughs> look, if, if everyone's playing I'm a piano, everyone's going to yeah. do I'm a piano. It's a chat. No it's doubt, but how, 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 like how much are you going to limit you know, what you have uh, access to? I have some. You know, I, 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 I bring it back to that because even mm-hmm. for myself, I, I'll just cut in there that I, I can't listen. I can't afford to listen to one genre. Okay. You know, I've just realized over you're the years yourself. since I was young. Yeah, you're rubbing yourself. You're actively rubbing, rubbing yourself. You know, there's, a, like I said, there's great yeah. artists and music in every genre out there. Yeah. You know, and fine, not all of us are going to have an ear for music, but I was also fortunate enough to have gone to music school, but I, but I had known what I know, what I'm telling you now, way before then. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, you saw the vision you went through. And actually with you, in particular, Mr. Mr. Cool Affair, I was actually blown away when you started off with the chat and told us about, you know, history. I mean, loosely placed, but it was like, um, I don't want the black child. And I mean, I'm, I'm subscribing to such PC like jargon, but I don't want you to feel like disheartened when the hustle seems impossible. Yeah. Because even for a lot of us right now, this this seems like a couple of gents putting it down. Yeah. And it was yeah, they have something. And no, they started from nothing. If we could tell you our backstories, and if you subscribe at the bottom of our screen, and you get that little bell sound, you know you're gonna have us all day and give us more wisdom. Mm-hmm. Um, is that. Even if I have to use real history, because it was about history and history is the things that we go back to find root in it, is that when jazz was popping off in the 1920s and even before that, the blues, jazz was also popping off here. Yeah, for sure. And we did not have the internet. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't, so I mean, there's some other thing that like divine, divine, you know, that spiritual, yeah, sure. spirituality you subscribe sure. to. And I mean, you can subscribe to anything you want. I feel like the human mind is that powerful. Yeah. That if you believe it, fam, yeah. you yeah. can do it. Hence and forth. For sure. But adding more into that, giving that more life into that is that I feel like you can do whatever the hell you want. You don't have to feel like you watch the show and say, look, I'm going to do whatever they do on their show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, dog, if you feel like you have some story to tell, come and tell yeah, it. Yeah, and you've tell. told that story really important. And I feel like when you feel dizzy as a person right now, taking from this show and this conversation, I feel like, yo, if I ever get dizzy, I just need to go back and just hear from, yeah, yeah. from my ancestors, yeah, from the folks. Sure. Tell me, what is the real chat? Yeah, yeah, I, for sure. I like to for know sure. what this in front of me, you yeah, know. And sometimes sure. it's not the same because they're not fighting the same battles we fight. Of course, yeah. and that's why it's hard for us to ever have this conversation with our parents. Like, you want to be an artist? Mm. They're like, well, I don't what see it. Fuck? You know, <laughs> stupid. You want to talk on a mic? <laughs> all day. That time, that time, it's one of the most valuable essay. Right now, African it's the gold is. rush right now. Yeah. I, I read that at the back of a book. Um, you know, I had the privilege of doing a show the year after for Dance Umbrella. FMB was sponsoring and at the back, it said if Africa, and I'm paraphrasing, if Africa could be measured in, if Africa's uh, wealth could be, economic wealth could be measured in its arts, we would be an economic superpower. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. and for I sure. swear to God, I was like, yo, who the hell That's wrote power. this? Fight! That's power right there. For sure. For sure. Um, so let's 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 not let's not deter man let's it's hard also i feel like yo hey russia guys yo i really how we go okay no that's a chat for another part coming 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 back to what you said about it being tough in the music industry hey man i don't think you want it any other way yeah i I don't think let me tell you you cannot want to be a superstar Two months from now and not expect to be ripped off <laughs> it's just life it's not even you understand? The, it's not the industry so life. for you to come like I, i'm actually sick and tired of these artists that make the same mistake you know what's wrong with you why are you making such a foolish don't tell me about hunger you see i'm we from the hung- south 
We all hungry. Yeah, I'm from the streets of Rosetta. <laughs> Don't tell me about <laughs> hunger. <Yeah. laughs> you think that's top five in the world? Yeah. Top five in the world. You're not gonna say what? Come visit. You're not gonna say what? Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tell me about hunger. Ooh. We've all been hungry. Do you understand? A dirty. But um, a dirty sound. I feel palm trees. <laughs> um, Shade. We are lazy now as musicians, and we are lazy at the wrong time, because this time allows you to be independent. You can actually put your music out there and push thoroughly. Consistent consistency is the best marketing strategy. Sure, and you you're getting a lot of shows, bro. Well, I'm seeing you post a lot of shit, bro. But let me tell you, you know what everybody says: the money's not in the music, the money's in the gigs. That's bullshit. They never believe shit until yeah, it's like that's bullshit. Money, bro. That's being said by people who are under people. Okay. Yeah, you okay. heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. If if your music is being published by Sony, you can say bullshit like that, right? There's money pushing your own thing. Let me tell you what money is, not the one that you have in your account, but the ability to wake up social when you capital, want, social capital, social capital, sleep when you want, and still make money. Doesn't matter, even if it's one dollar, you're making it yourself. That's where we are now. So people need to wake up. So this crying, you, you, I don't even entertain it anymore. Mm. You know, yeah, that's a valid point right yeah, there. I yeah. don't even entertain it. And my next beef is with Samro. Yo, hey. You know, maybe radio stations should pay us directly. Maybe, eh? Yeah? Huh? How does it work? Well, we're going to have to come up with an app. How, no, how do they currently pay you? Yeah. yeah. Pay. Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks pay. complicated. It looks complicated. <laughs> My understanding. Do you know, I think I think we should change the constitution. What's your understanding? My understanding of it. Well, I work in <coughs> TV and like as a production company, if they use your song on an episode, yeah. they pay per per Those minutes, minutes or yeah. per minute. Yeah. yeah. So they have a sheet called a Q sheet. Okay. Yeah. They have to fill in. Yeah. Like for this episode, uh, we use this song, this artist, this whatever, this code for this many seconds. Just like okay. radio. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've used this song and then they, they list every song they've used for that episode and they send that to the SABC. Now the SABC pays a blanket license to Samro. So they pay one big ass fee that and this covers is everybody's thing. Okay. And then Samro pays out those those artists that that SABC like uses. Paying you know, for like copyright use. Yeah, and but, now, but now when it comes to a, a, a artist like this, just a, a normal artist that's trying to make money, it doesn't work the same way. Yeah. Because SABC obviously kind of... They, pay, they you pay when they feel like They it. lobby. Yeah, Political it, terms lobbying for the street people <laughs> under the door. Okay. No, so, messing, under the door. Uh, so Bandcamp for me is something that I look at and uh, I'm like, listen, if I'm if I'm smart enough, now it's it's time to test the intelligence and the talent. Bandcamp is providing that for you. Drag because I don't know how that site is designed, but there's a whole lot of music lovers there. Mm. And when I'm saying music lover, I'm talking about a person who's gonna buy your stuff. Yeah. Not someone who's gonna pay ten rand and wants to stream your whole album. <laughs> or worse, <laughs> download it for free. Those are not For music sure. lovers. Yeah. Buy my shit. For this is why I put it on vinyl. And then I get to see who's a music lover. And you're a bunch of pretenders, let me tell you. Sure. Hey, damn, it's a truth. You, you are hypes, man. Attracted to bullshit. This is why we're failing as musicians. We're also failing because we live in a crimogenic society. Dog. And it's not like the, the things aren't there for you. Yeah. People are just like, no, iTunes. Mm. Yeah. I even blame the water. Like maybe it's the water. It's making them docile. Ah! But <laughs> my point is we can no longer ego massage people oh my god to things that need to be done dude where's the gunshots guys where's the gunshots come on <laughs> where the fucking gunshots <laughs> god damn come on why are we ego uh, massaging people we in the south in the south we keep it real right we keep it real right uh, oh, damn we keep it real in the south right so so my skin is so got now but yeah, 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 we don't even massage. No, here, no, 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 we should not on these massage, feet. Man. No, nah. we listen. We, we this ego business is also making us lose a lot of money. I don't sleepless nights, nice, though. You see, now you're doing something like this, it pops off. I had the chance to come here, but I was like, nah, it's nothing. 
Now you're popping off. You see me rubbing shoulders with you. You don't pay much attention. I start beefing with you. That's, that's not your fault, dude. It's mine for not seeing value in what you're doing. This is why I need people to become African fundamentalists. Oh, fucking feel Seek me, value wherever you see it in another African. For sure. Do you understand? We are too Eurocentric and it's not working for us. Let me tell you why. It's their business method, Afri- not ours. Yeah, African, uh, African, uh, African solutions for African problems. Yeah. You know? Do you understand? You, know? you will fix a lot of things and will bring about sanity. I'm not talking about a utopia here. Yeah. I'm simply saying we are insane right now. It's mm. almost like our minds have been turned backwards. Like, I don't know, we're upside down, you know? Um, we take anything that's being said by the pimps, the pastors and the politicians at face value and we believe it. Those guys mm. are controlling us right now. Yeah, metaphorical. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, metaphor. and it's messing up a lot of things. Sure. We, we need to start seeking value so we devalue what they say we should value. No, not, not, I mean, I, I hear you, but I mean, not even necessary. I don't I don't think it's necessarily devaluing, just upscaling our, our currency, you know, our social currency. Yeah. But you can't as, serve two masters. We never, never. But at you at the same time, that. guys, yeah. there's, a, there's a fundamental thing we need to understand before all of that happens is you must understand that the illiterate of our time now going forward are going to be those who can't unlearn and yeah. relearn. Yeah. 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 Those are going to be the illiterate that we are going to be of dealing course. with. Yeah. Of course. That is very profound. Yeah. Um, I like that. Bro. Thank you. Um, and, 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 it's, and it's, and it's unfortunate because <laughs> it's unfortunate because people lack independent thinking. I mean, like we call people who have turned 18 adults, no. Nah. No, you are not an adult. <laughs> you still have to earn that, you know, yeah. that, that that title. Um, but I don't want to get too deep into that. But yeah, for sure. yeah. Um, oh, 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 on, on, on your stay. On your stay. On, uh, on your keep. Exactly. On your keep. If you're making a millionaire of a twenty-one year old, do you really think they're gonna listen to their nah. parents? Nah. No. You, no, you no. you're crushing a lot of values, man. Yeah. You, you, it's almost like it's not almost. It is. You're killing the African family structure. You kid, there is no structure in our family. I mean, family. a lot of kids will say that they don't want to do that. That, like, our parents' stress is our parents' stress, dog. If we're really having frank yeah, chats right now, they're going to be like, I don't want to do that. But, yeah. I, I, I mean, yes, it is fundamentally important to remember where you come from. Yeah. To come and talk about it. But yeah. also, the game is the game. All the of us here in this space knows exactly what it is. It, yeah. It's not like we're going to come up here short. If we really had all the money, we wouldn't be able there are people who come from money i mean i don't want to throw that homie's name in the space yeah but he comes from money and he only makes hits as much as he makes as often as he makes because he has the money to fund it and a lot of kids have to subscribe to contracts that are like yo dog i have no choice you know you always have a choice. Uh, that that's uh, that's that's the trick okay the devil pull convincing men that he doesn't exist you always have a choice. Okay. Especially okay. even when it comes to quick gain. You know? yeah. We live yeah. in a microwave society. You guys have heard that yeah. countless times. Yeah. Yeah. People even microwave information now. Exactly. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. People microwave information. Yeah. Yeah. But if they actually sat down and valued what knowledge is, yes. they would realize that it has little to do with information and more to do with self-character. Do you understand? You cannot learn if you don't want to. Learn. Exactly. If you don't know yourself. <laughs> yeah, if you don't it's a self-awareness. Yeah. It's a yeah, self-awareness. And, and, so and, and, and I tell my my, 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 uh, my, my, my basketball boys, I'm a, I'm a basketball coach too, that you can't gain without having known what has been there before. There's no yeah. new mistake to be made under the sun. Do you understand? It's um, all been done before. Who was it? One of these, there's someone on YouTube that I once heard say, uh, reading is like theft. Because uh, somebody spent 5, 10, 15, 20 years yes. putting together uh, four, two to 300 yeah. pages, 400 pages for you to go and just steal and read in a week or two. And you've gained somebody's path without even having walked yeah. their path. To you. And then I you mean, call yourself yeah. what? An academic. Intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. So what do I say? Cool Affair says, because he's creating his own pedagogy. You see, now I'm getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I see you, shut up. <laughs> Amos Wilson, Dr. Amos and Sister Amos Wilson teaches us about stupid intelligence. Yes. An intelligence that Tell solves me. everybody's problems except your own. Sure. Mm. 
Oh my god. PhD, PhD. permanent head damage. That's a new one. You understand? That's a new one. What you are being taught dumbs you must down. serve fundamental purpose in That's your reality yeah. and people. Your family. When I'm talking about your family, I'm talking about your Next African's of family. Next of kin. Do you understand? Your community, society. Now, if your education is only going to cater for three or four people, what good is it? Mm. And those people don't need it. It's just to ego massage them. Excuse me. What good is that education? You cannot use it for yourself. I'm speaking on top of this thing of um, students being hustled by universities, yeah. going to study, Ooh, and then they end up owing these, 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 these uh, universities. This is a hustle. You see, and they want jobs. You see, this job mentality is also a problem, you know? Yeah, um, how do you yeah. feel about that, bro? The nine to five life. Bro. Yeah. bro, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Okay. Because I believe in a day you only have just about until sunset. That's a day. After that, it's night. People are not really doing anything. So if your workspace is taking so much time from you and is not paying you a million rand, I say, fuck it. Because <laughs> you're building someone else's empire. <clears throat> do you understand? Yeah. You, yeah. It's not like a place in Kuwait where if I wanted to go and do business, I'm only going to be a 49% shareholder of what is happening. Do you understand? And they take 50, uh, someone else takes 51. That's being proud of your own people. We live in a state where these guys are brokers. Themselves. They're yeah. just brokers, broken deals with the with the whole world. The elite. The elite. You understand? <clears throat> broken deals with white folks, with the elite, whatever you want to call them. Okay. The point is, they're not looking after us. Everybody gets into politics to protect wealth. They are selling it. Mm -hmm. You see, we are... So, you must also now look at where is this mentality coming from? It's not ours. No, it must be ours because it, these people don't come from space to be in politics. They are, they are from this society. They walk with us. They know it. I mean, that's that's slavery 101. People yeah. be like, yo, white people came and they took over. And, I mean, yo, I don't want to say white people. I'm say, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I got white Always. friends. I got my friends, okay? Listen, now let me no, hear something No, no, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. it's obviously they came here because they were fellow people of yeah. our kin who were like, yo, let me show you around. And it's not it's not to say that it's, it's just the nature of war. Yeah. I, I want to come back to this you know? white friend so we can kill the stigma. <laughs> the stigma <laughs> is when you say, when you speak about racism and white supremacy, somehow you should feel offended with your white friends. You shouldn't. Because... No state makes policy for two people. Bing. All states make policy Polar. for the group. Always by that. So you can have your white friend, right? But the state, if the state is designed to oppress you, not him, that is what's going to happen. Because they don't make policy for you and your friend. They make policy for the group. So this is what we need to understand. We, we, it's not and a policy is not on paper. Also, let's understand that because you get stopped at a, a traffic light and they're like, hi, can I see your license? Like, I mean, Trevor said it best. <laughs> you know, he was like, yo, you woke up on the screen. If you're black, it's like, it's today the day. You didn't do nothing. You're going to jail. But if a white person goes, like, what is it now? What do you want? Right? You know, uh, one of those dramatics like that. And I mean, like, it's not always on paper. It's just in our minds now while you've got that you also have something called the Oedipus complex yeah. right yeah. yeah so now because we have failed to confront the enemy we decide to become like him and now I'm talking systematically I don't talk to individuals simulating I'm talking about the entire simulation the software the African currently carries is one of being very apologetic about everything and what you don't understand is, at the end of the day, here, these are families. These are, everybody's got a family. Do you understand? To protect. Now, while this protection has to be in place, there also has to be something called what? Diplomacy. We have to yeah. be able to... Bureaucracy. Uh, yeah. What, what people call democracy. Democracy. <laughs> um, <laughs> you understand? Uh, this, this democracy. <laughs> you see, gents, you, you must know I'm, I'm full of love. This is why I speak like this. 
Do you understand? Because the more we can be, the more we can stop pretending, the more we'll know what to do. As Africans, I speak as Africans. Africans pretend a lot and then they end up messing up the movement. Yo. Do you understand? That's we it. pretend a lot and we end up messing up things that have nothing to do with political spaces. Now you find a musician, instead of being innovative and creating a music software, he's stuck complaining about politics and samro for the next 50 years. <laughs> he ain't gonna stop. Where's the chance? <laughs> you understand? Because we have a couple of greedy idiots uh, teamed up with coons, sellouts, and they feel like we should take everything and this is our hustle. Take it's, what you it's, give. It's, it's basically, you give we're like in a, 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 a some bag, you know, Claps. where they just come through uh, and, uh, you know, these pimps, these pastors and politicians, same person. Metaphors, metaphors, life, metaphors. You know, metaphors. they just come and, <coughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's dirty, it's dirty. It's, it's dirty, dirty, man. It's dirty. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, but even on that it light, is. you know, look, we can, we can, dog, we can huff and puff about it forever, but honestly, Let's take to the polls, man. It's in our constitution to change. And I mean, you've been speaking about music, but I've been speaking also, I, I think I speak on the, the, the flagship or the agenda of all artists in the industry that makes Africa so appealing because that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. In Africa, sorry. I, 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 I believe we, we are the next yeah. power structure. No, no, we are. Our, for Especially just for cultivation of the next yeah. conversation where we're going to push ourselves. Yeah. You know, innovation really comes... Even if someone creates a great idea in a first world country, yes. innovation only really truly grows in a third world country. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if we can really see that for a bit and just be like, okay, guys, um, let's literally just buy Amad Gip Gip, just for starters. Hey, yo, that's a free sponsor right there. Like, let's start, let's start subscribing to that. Let's, let's not just read things and have titles like, oh, Steve Biko, I write what I like. Mm. And that's the visions what we're going to go for just for a season. <laughs> Let's 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 stick to it because I think the only reason a lot of people are successful is like you said consistency. Yeah. I mean, like we all said, consistency. If we're not doing something consistently, yeah. we won't see people appreciating it. Honestly, yeah, for sure. You, whoever it is, this could be a little Easter egg for you, dog. As a person who's a viewer, mm. you could be watching us now. And this could be what episode three under five. I don't know because um, <laughs> we love this shit. Yeah. Uh, and you queue up only at episode one thousand. You know, and when you see a conversation at this sort of like frequency, be like, dog, I got to believe, you yeah. know, whether you're from the South or not, dog, you got to believe because I think it's not about a, a race thing because I, I also feel like that's what that's what we all subscribe to to a degree. We're like, dog, it's not about the color thing because we're beyond that. That battle ain't us anymore. But obviously we got to make people got to pay their tides, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we're quick to move forward, though. Um, and yet we don't understand the fundamental problem of what we're facing. Yeah. You see, this is the problem of I have with my family. Because you see, when you love your family, you study your family. You see, so this, for me, is my everyday work. It's mm. not my weekend thing. Mm. So, 9 to 5. It's my 9 to 5. When a nationalist speak, people hear extremism. And that's wrong. That's a narrative of democracy. To say, don't challenge what I've got going on here. And yet what you've got going on here is nothing to be proud of. Now, let me drop another fact. Patriotism. What exactly would we be proud about here in SA as an African? Leave the technology that we have at our disposal. I'm talking about systematic balance. Let's look at our entire family. Let's look at the townships. Let's look at the image of the African globally. The image of an African globally is one where he can enter any prison effortlessly. Wow, okay. Damn. <laughs> That's right. Do you brown understand? Folk, brown folk, guys. When last did you see a Chinese man being shot down in the US yeah. or his knee on the neck there uh, until he dies? Because Chinese are not Barbie taking George this shit. Floyd. Yeah. They, they will respond to that shit. But we are more of the Bible's children than the Bible itself. We, te we have no more chicks to tell, but we have created them at the back of our neck. And that's killing us because 
what you are saying is I would rather have a comfortable that servitude shit is relationship yeah. with you mm. at the expense of the entire race. I mean, that's, that's what politicians yeah. are doing. You gotta come with that Malcolm X energy, dog. That Oliver Tambo energy, you know what I'm that saying? That Marcus Garvey of independence. Yes, I sir. don't have time to cry about what the government isn't doing. No. I'm doing. Do you understand? I'm doing. I'm not gonna wait for those guys. They brokers. I told you they're brokering deals. They're selling wealth. They they don't care about you as youth. They don't care about your ideas. They don't care. These people don't care. They're hustling you. And all they want to do is take that money and go spend it with the slave queen. You understand? No, we're talking. We're brothers here, isn't it? Yeah. Or what? No, should we should we discuss no, these things in the silence, the, the silence is not a response to us disproving it. It's the fact that there's nothing to rebuttal, but the fact that we know what is in front of our face. You understand? So you know? we, we can't be crying about these things. Because yeah. you look at even the sisters that are <clears throat> complicit to this thing. They're doing nothing but buying hair, but they already have hair. Nails yeah. while they have Look, nails. That's that's, yeah, a, that's, conversation. that's, that's a conversation. That's a conversation. This is even. waste. Look, it's deep. It's deep. We, uh, feel, we feel that, but you understand? It's it's the, the, it's down to the root of our conversation, though. You know, we've learned shit that we need to unlearn. Unlearn. So what? If, and as you said, it's all individual. Even because we we're a music show. You know, we're a music show, but also a lifestyle show. We need yeah. to also remind you that it's not also just putting out music and yeah. and, and wish yeah, everything works out. With the real person is, uh, too, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So if spirituality, which I feel like is a, is the foregrounding idea you've given us, or that yeah. vibe, I feel like, yeah. yeah, man, take it if it is. Yeah. Listen sometimes, take that moment to listen to yourself. If it feels like, your dog, I can't deny this, subscribe to it, man. Yeah. But, but you see what's also nice about democracy is that <laughs> it's, a it's a constantation of ideas. We're contesting. Oh, I said it right. Cont yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're contesting for ideas, young it. For sure. Your ideological grounding, my ideological grounding, your idea. Right. This is what democracy was meant to be. Who has the best law? <laughs> who has the best sanity? Who has the who who can provide us with a society that's civil enough for us to prosper as human? human beings to a higher intelligence mortal level hey bro but do we, do we keep on doing it because right now i just heard the news and it's a, a, a laundering or corruption scam that started at 3.5 that finally was halted at one one 115 million rand i was just like guys are we still doing this we're stealing all nine houses and building one you know i'm like do we go to the polls? Do we change? Because I, I know how the law, I, some people don't know how it works. If you do not vote, right, your vote automatically goes to the ruling party. So, so why, why are you there? Let, let me show you democracy again. I uh, love what you brought out. <laughs> are there more people who vote than those who, vote, who don't vote? No, there are, are there are more of those who don't vote. Yes, right? yeah. fine. So they are a, major, a majority. Yeah, fine. <laughs> who then decides <laughs> that because they don't vote, their vote goes to the majority? The constitution. Who drew up the constitution? A, a, a amalgamation of people. Who are those people sent by who under what ideological ground? I mean, agreed upon. <laughs> hey, wait, hey, 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 if you if you want to take it hard, I'm gonna say agreed upon who. Shit. Here's the thing. On, yeah. We all say we assume we have the same goals, but we never say what they are. Okay, but these were words on a piece of paper. The paper that we can read right now who agreed upon them like we talked about the industries that come in here and they monopolize us. here's the thing People we, we can we can off, find bro. we can find who agreed on it but you must understand there was trickery in between that because it's politics at the end of the day so certain people with strong ideological grounding had to die okay so, like so ones in modern die. times that strategy hasn't changed what they use is the moving and getting along strategy they don't kill you anymore. They sideline you. You are not killed now. You just seen as unpopular. Now, Cool Affair took that and said, the unpopular, I'm going to take it and make it a living thing. I don't want it to go there. But if you come to me, you find out what the hell is going on. So, 
<clears throat> when people ask me, for instance, we had a great conversation uh, just before we started, like, let's keep it. I would like to bring it in because it, it explains. You, you ask you ask me, what drives me? And how would I want to see myself being celebrated, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what drives Kula Fair? My history. And I'm not talking about the history where we slaves. I'm talking about the history where we are gods, where we built the pyramids, where we mapped the stars, came up, came up with our own calendar, um, figured out that Adam's calendar in Pumalanga is accurate to the pyramids of Giza, the singing stones, the stone circles. Uh, I'm talking about knowledge that people don't even know about, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm a musician. People will never find out about this because it's not like we have money and cameras to be driving all over South Africa shooting this. The oozing gold, the, the oozing gold, the mountains that ooze gold, man, like veins. I'm talking about our history, the, the oldest rock painted. Mapungu. Mapungu. In Zaloyola, Adam's calendar, right? I was like, um, the great, the great ancestors, the great ancestors doctors that provided us with information that predicted what's going on right now what what can i do with this so i decided to take all of it because that's who i am that's what i love i love that history of us i put it in my music i was like okay i know people don't read okay but i they, know they can listen they can listen yeah. people may not read every book but they can listen so every EP that I do that has the voice of um, our ancestors or knowledge about our past, I make it free on Bandcamp to, for people to access. And then I put it on, I, I, I upload a, a link, download link for people to access them. And let me tell you, out of my entire catalog, that's the most loved and favored. Not because it's free because it's education. So now that's structuring me, right? It's motivating me now to move and say, okay, maybe let me serve the people. This is what they want to see from me. Then I, the more now you're researching about yourself, but now you're starting to find out things about you that you didn't know were even possible. You start falling in love with yourself. Then when you look at other Africans, you see the potential. You see that thing. You see that magic. You start seeing it. But then you also see because <laughs> it's nature broke. yeah then you also see because nature has a balance then you also see the not self do you understand you see the moment the where yeah the 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 misguided misinformed the world we have in, in front of us right now do you understand now it believes it's right we believe we're right the war is still going on what's consistent though is that there is a system that has been thoroughly at work exploiting and making its riches and wealth um, more and more powerful through or through the expense of Africans. And people just want to sweep that away and think they're going to be okay. For, for every misbehavior, you must be caref careful with misbehavior. If you do nothing about it, it stands a chance to repeat itself so and it gets intelligent at doing that. Yeah. Racism is a psychological genius, my friend. Oh. A psychological genius. Oh yeah, I have to commend. We should never underestimate racism. It's thoroughly at work. Um, so you cannot fight it with emotion. You need to be very intelligent, very reserved so and patient. So Check what your strengths are, work on them. By virtue of working on your strengths, you have defeated racism. Because it recruits. So if it has no soldiers to recruit, it dies. It dies. And, 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 and its filter is democracy. Because that's where you are diluted and lubricated. But then it's also there where you see clearly, at least clearly enough to be like, mm, I think I should. But, but here's the nice thing about democracy. Eh? It's like the matrix. You can be anybody. Yeah. 
you can be anybody. It really is on the lens. So maybe to some people, I'm super wrong, but it's my perspective and I'm sticking to it. And that's what we allow in this space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sticking to it. And if I have to transform it into music, this is what comes out, what you guys heard. Yeah. So you tell me whether I'm an extremist or a purifier. And it's only in For vinyl. sure. For sure. In vinyl. And tell us, bro. Please pronounce this name for me, bro. Oh, Stamto. Stamto. Yeah. Mzanzi Ago. Tell us about like the away. Tell us about no, the name, bro. Yeah. What does that mean? What's Tamto, bro? What does that it's mean? It's like Mzanzi Ago. It's like um our 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 own town, you know, like a Toti Toti like town. Slang. Okay, slang. okay, okay. Our own slang. Okay. And and we are known for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. But did you guys know it was it, it that thing actually had a name called Stamto. For sure. Do you understand? Okay. So this is what I'm saying. Let's preserve certain things. Because okay. we're still participating in them. Okay. You Give black back, yeah. Yeah. I, I, back into the past. Yeah. I don't study history to to destroy my own. I want them to value it because by virtue of valuing it, you'll value me. <clears throat> sure. Do you understand? For sure. Loyalty must start with our history. Stamto is your thing, Jens. Stamto is your thing. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Why is now? Stamto is your thing. It's beautiful music. Yeah, bro. yeah. And the music is basically, um, hey man, I don't know, maybe I should play some music for you guys. Yeah. No, no, for <laughs> sure. We love that. We love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Tell me something, bro. Yeah. Um, you've been, you've been, you've been doing quite a few shows lately. Yeah. Sorry, I asked you this earlier, but yeah, I yeah, for sure. you were in the groove. Then, I was in know, the groove. You know, um, so, yeah, yeah, man. So, like, where can we, where, where have you been doing shows lately, bro? And do you have anything coming up? At the moment, no, I was doing my own shows. Yeah. Um, past few weeks. So you're hosting gigs? Hosting gigs. Okay. Mall of the South, Life okay. Brand, okay. Sundays. Okay. Trying to introduce people to this broken beat sound. Okay. Obviously. How are they you know, finding it? Nah, they, they loved it because we did three weeks. Fortunately, um, two guys came to me that value me very much, uh, value my music. Okay. And uh, they've become friends now. Um, sure. We started a group called Kill Me. They're like, look, man, the music is great and people need to hear this music. So we'll pay you out of our own pockets. Can you just come to Life Grand? And, you know, I was like, damn, man, these guys are willing to go that far, you know, like to invest in me. They see sure. value in me. That's Afri sure. African fundamentalism. Sure. So to me, it's not even about thinking twice. I'm happy that they actually value what I'm doing, right? They see what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Never mind where I've been. Other Africans coming up to you and telling, yo, man, what you're doing is great. I want to support it and wholeheartedly with whatever they've got. That must mean a lot and you must be loyal to those people. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Africanism sure. is in the spirit. Yeah, in you, you must be loyal to those people. You must just, look, you know, life doesn't always turn out the way we want, but if people value you, value them back. If you are valued, value them. Yeah. So they were doing gigs. We're doing gigs more over the South Life Grand. And then we came to a place called Vera Vita in Buffalo Range. Beautiful yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. We Italiano. Did two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italiano. Yeah. yeah. Hey, dope. Yeah. <laughs> 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 dope, dope, dope. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> dope. <it's a> but <laughs> dope, man. I was shut up. But I thought, must check them out. Though. For sure. Yeah, for sure. It's unbelievable. So... Uh, yeah, some yeah. free advertising. So, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, on my behalf. No, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good, bro. But, um, yeah, man, I did a couple of gigs there. And then I just, right now, because I'm busy with a project, I stopped a bit. And, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe in winter I'll do something. Uh, okay. Yeah, for okay. my birthday. A break, broken beat party. For yeah. sure. But I want to sure. throw a party here in the South. Hopefully... No, you know, you know it's yeah, gonna jump. yeah, for sure, you know for it's sure. Gonna jump. <laughs> With all COVID protocols. Oh man, know. oh man, didn't they drop them? Not so strict. Yeah, but yeah, a few have been let down. Yeah, yeah. A, few. a few have come back. Can you host? Oh. Can you can it get full of there's a, there's a Man, the limitations are always gonna be there. I feel yeah. like, um, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Sure. yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, man. but uh, and yeah. also people might complain. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, yeah, unless it's a daytime thing. Yeah. Yeah, unless we, we do a daytime thing, picnic, food market. I wanted to do something like that, but yeah, 
Most do, yeah, do let us know. We will we'll definitely come check you yeah, out. Yeah, for sure, man. Please. Yeah, yeah bro. Um, sure. We'd yeah. love to check no, you out. Please, bro. Man. Yeah, yeah. Need to come in. That's what I was asking, bro. Need yeah, to come for sure. In. And just chill. check you out live. There, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, any day. Any so, bro, and tell me, bro, in the industry, who like who would you love to work with, bro? The industry. Hey, Amen. Yeah. There's a lot of people, but you know, I don't know how that. But like, gonna... who, who, like when you when you were growing up, bro. Yeah. Like you told yourself, hey, this guy. I would like, like to work with this guy. Yeah, like ish, if I could, you know what I'm saying. And as you started. You know, it has to be Teddy Riley, man. Teddy Riley is a producer. He used to produce Black Street, Bobby Brown. Um, he produced, I think, one Michael Jackson song. No okay. Rick James. No Rick James. Um, I think. I think. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Rick Probably. James is nice. Yeah, he's a dope producer, man. Dope, 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 dope. Okay. Still alive and he's still kicking. Uh, at first, it was well. I had a list. It was Tony Allen, but unfortunately, he passed on. So, and then Teddy Riley, and then who else? Lisa Shaw. Lisa Shaw, she's a vocalist, yeah. But in the mainstream space, because I, 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 I don't dabble there that much, I haven't watched out for who I would like to work with. For sure. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, yeah, yeah. Another thing about being brought in your music is that you get introduced to other sounds too. And you find other musicians who are doing other great things. You know, I, so. I fancy you wanting to at least collab with Adriana Mills. You know, closer to yeah. my dreams. Yeah, for sure, I would. Hey, look, man, I, I, I'm up for collabs. I'm, I'm actually very free. I told you I experiment a, a lot. So How does it actually affect Would you do like uh, a dude rapping on your beats? Like, would you make a hip hop type beat. vibe beat? Yeah. My brother. I'm cool up here. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm cool up here. For though. sure. The, the only time I'm at my super saiyan confidence is when I'm in my music space. Because I know I'm not competing with anyone. It's my own thing. Yeah. Um, even if I did hip hop, it would have that cooler first swing, you know, that sure. jazzy feel. In for fact, sure. I'll even play you some hip hop that I did, for sure. you know, for sure. uh, with that jazzy swing. So it's it's not a problem, and I can, I can dabble, and I, I I enjoy it more when we don't label what we're doing, yeah, and just flow. Whatever comes out comes out. And that's when I enjoy it. Yeah, there's power in improvising. There's yeah. power in improvisation. There's power, man. How does that affect you though when there is an artist who has a record label? How does that now like correlate? Can, can you repeat the question? How how does that affect you now when you have an artist who wants to collaborate with you but now they have there's a that. big Ish. label behind them? Hey, Amen. How does that work with your mission now? It has defeated me because there's yeah. been artists that I would have liked to work with. Yeah. But now I think about this, like I under G, I would like to work, I would, um, and I would kill it. I would give her a Grammy album. That's what I know for sure because of the voice she has. Yeah. But there's a whole lot of musicians outside of her that. No, absolutely. Are good but I get your point when you say it's it's it, it's it, just it how kills the love you because now yeah because even the musician the, the love they'll yeah. give you will be based on business being done first, not the love of music. That will only come after business is done, you know? And I think that's that's the catch-22 there. Because now the business aspect of it is still important. But at the same time, I need, I need to be able to come to you and say, bruh, I've heard your shit. Here's a laptop. Play chords, beats. Do something. Do you understand? Yeah, zone. can we get into the zone first? Do you understand? Yes. But I think even with the artists that are on top, I don't know, maybe they think, they look at us and like, no, this one maybe wants to make it through me. Then they feel threatened or whatever. Probably. But it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. It, it is art. It actually always is like that. It's like that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's delayed Gatekeepers. greatness. That's what they call it, yeah. gatekeepers. <laughs> you know, that's why, that's why I always say, just start your own thing so you don't have to worry about the gatekeeping. Also, I'd like to add to what uh, Cool Affair just mentioned now, guys. Um, What's killing most artists and those who want to try and break through and make it in the industry is that there's no shortage of talent. There's shortage of talent, guys. There's no, mad talent. Yeah. The one thing people are not giving time to learn is the business within music, the law within music. These are things that could have prevented many other many artists that we know of's careers. 
from ending or yeah. coming to uh, 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 um, very harsh endings, if if you may call it. But uh, yeah, learning about the, the 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 music industry is something that's paramount. It's not an option. It's not something you can bypass, and that's what most people have. Uh, that that's what most artists who have failed mm-hmm. have done as a mistake. And I believe it was a conscious mistake, or because of maybe not uh, like misinformed like, so, sometimes, or also being misinformed and uh, uninformed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, I highly recommend that you guys learn about the industry, learn about the business, learn about the law, learn about entertainment law. Yeah. And you guys will have a far smoother ride. And guys, listen, we're in the fourth industrial revolution, right? Yeah. So yeah. right now, the avenues have become far more, far more easier for you to reach far, uh, 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 far broader, reach. broader the, the, what's the demographics and countries and so on. So for sure. take advantage, guys. And obviously, be honest with yourself as to what you are creating and how it may resonate with people of all international uh, borders, you know. Um, never restrict yourself to to what you know or what is comfort comfortable to you or your society that's going to restrict your your growth yeah. this is why guys like cool affair he can rock up to new york right now and play uh uh scum to uh the, the the song in the beginning uh the yeah. the, the scum to single single and people are going to resonate with it because it's a kind of music that you can't identify where it comes from but what you're hearing is something good it's authentic. It's, it's authentic. Rooted. You know, there's a no retreat, no surrender. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. aside from That's, that, guys, uh, 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 that was the track's name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you guys, uh, fire. Learn, guys. Don't be scared to learn. And like you said, like you said earlier on, was you need to have spent time making your mistakes and learning, unlearning, relearning. Um, For sure. In order to have to, to, to have any potential progress, for sure. I mean, like everybody wants to make it, but not everybody's trying to hunt, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Even yeah. when it comes to uh, key information consumption, people will rather stay in an entertained state than in a learning state, mm-hmm. and this is what's compromising a, a, a big majority of the yeah. of the society. Let's leave aside the the, the industry that we that we in, but uh, just in general, in in a broad in the broader sense of things. Um, Learning, learning is paramount. It's, it's a not diet. an option. You it's know, a diet. You got to know what you're feeding yourself and not what, what not to eat. What not to eat, exactly. And <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh, the the beauty of being a human is you get to choose your sacrifice. You know, um, sure. You don't get to not sacrifice. Even doing nothing is a sacrifice. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So yeah, guys, get down to it. You know, bust your booty, bust your ass, yeah. <laughs> put it in that yeah. bust your back, bust your back, man. Yeah. You know, get. T- take, take your loss. Your, take no, your losses. Your back into into it. It. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> take your losses and, and and don't let your losses not come with lessons. Learn Definitely a lesson from all your losses. Don't allow them to just define you alone. Yeah. You know? um, there's many ways to kill this cat these days. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. don't 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 look at the old way of doing things. Yeah. There's new ways popping up every yeah. single day, and you would yeah. never know if you make up something new. Just gotta right. find, just gotta find these ways. Bro. Find the ways, find the ways, guys, and the ways are there. Just and, be inspired. And be inspired, because you, you know when you're sorry to cut you off, bro. No, no, no. Talk, bro. Speak, dog. Look, knowledge is not free, gents. Yeah. A real knowledge is not free. You know, this is why you have universities. Uh, you know, uh, but even with that being said. Real knowledge is not free because knowledge must keep you up with the times mm. and you shouldn't break your character. Mm. Yes. Then yes. you're knowledgeable. You're using your knowledge the right way because you know what to use when. Mm. Do you understand? Like, for instance, um, if let's say this was the genesis, your first interview um, with someone else, maybe a musician. Let's say I was your first, Right. It's, it's very re- responsible for me to be truthful with you guys. Because I'm not sure whether this episode might define other episodes to come. Do you understand? So if I'm fake, I Make could be pressure. fucking up a whole lot of interviews that are coming through. Because people will be trying to meet the se- a particular standard, standard, standard yeah. instead of being real. Do you mm-hmm. understand? Um, and then there is a th- such a thing as not all platforms are for you. Yeah. Do you understand? Not really so, for you, bro. so if... 100 people are fucking with cool affair and I can't get more. It's okay. What, what I'll do is I'll find a way to make these 100 to value my stuff so much that they're willing to spend more than they're currently spending. Mm. And I'll make sure it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where you're talking about quality, Very, right? Yeah. yeah, but even your supermarkets are selling you crap. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? No. If you don't believe me, go buy uh, Lay's chips and tell me whether they, they taste. 
the way they should. Go buy jungle oats. Does it smell? It used to smell before they opened it. It doesn't smell no more. I bet Oros is diluted before it's closed. Am I lying? Your groceries used to smell. As a kid, you know, man. Come on. You guys know. I know it's month end. <laughs> it smells like month end. But uh, things are just losing that taste that... You know, people don't care about quality so anymore. Put, so put the quality back in. Put the qu- th- stop this bubble gum shit. It's it's. I know that we all have to find a way to live together, but now this bubble gum shit has just taken over, and it's making everything else bubble gum. Yeah. We need to find a balance at least. It's because people don't know what they're doing. Yeah. If they knew that putting value back in proudly South African brands, you know, would actually make you more exclusive and the world buy into your shit. They don't want to. They don't want to. Hey, man, man, at least we said it on tape so when you hear it, you can lie to yourself some more. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you didn't try it at least. But you know what? You've done the thing. You've done the thing. You've inspired, you've motivated, and you've educated. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying stop what you're doing. I'm just saying whenever you are doing it, just think, there's a brother or a sister that I need to help out that is not related to me yes immediately or any other means bring Ubuntu back bring that Ubuntu back it's just it's let's put ourselves in a balance just bruh there's nothing like you know I'm chilling at the studio COVID hits people are running to the bottle store yeah yeah. it's 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 stressing like to see your own people instead of running for s- safety measures although I wouldn't know what it what safety is a safety measure in, in that in, moment because you know we can't but we can't. alcohol dog I mean, hey man to each his own and until until, we, own. Uh, until you wake up to it then you to know what yeah man. you know whatever yeah. it is your calling is you will yeah yeah you know find your own find your God find your hope but and let's yeah. yeah let's pull up our socks guys we've got everything and essay man the vibe we Africa, have, dog, come on. The, the vibe, to... dog. The, oh. We've got talent here in Africa, bro. Like, hey, man, we've got, hey, it's we've crazy. got, man, we could make our own entertainment to us. We just need to structure it right, you know? Yeah. You pay, know, pay yeah. on time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 pay oh, on time, shit. you know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, 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 on time, you know, you know, you know the vibe. That's the, that's the number one problem right there, bro. Let's struggle. Let's struggle. We'll, we'll get there. For what it's worth. Yeah, for what it's worth. Let's, we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Right. It will be enjoyed. That's uplifting. Yeah. That's uplifting. That's uplifting. The dope cast, where we find that, we found some hope in that dope. You know what I'm saying? For sure. We yeah, keep going okay. under, bro. That's what it is, man. Yeah. Cool yeah. Fair, thank you so much, brother. My brothers, thank really you. Really appreciate you coming uh, through. Shout yeah, out. It's all good, man. It's all good. I love you and respect you. Nah, Anytime you like me, I'm there. Yeah, I'm gonna hoy, I'm gonna hoy a know. set for you guys. Kanto. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hoy a nice. Brain camp. Yeah, you know you have to sign that because when you get the Grammys, we have to sign the original one here. Yeah, yeah. Check him out on Check him out on Bandcamp. Check him out on Bandcamp. You know what I'm saying? I also cool release some free music from time to time, so. Yeah, you safety. know you love that, and it's yeah. not free. Yeah. It's just you know giving back, giving back. You know, oh, you know, you know, giving and, back. Giving and back. before we before we head off, Cool Affair is gonna bless us with a uh, yeah, a bomb, little yeah. something something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, are you ready for that? I'm now? ready, man. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Let's go, man. Thank you. you know, we out. We shout, shout. <laughs>
If we don't see the war, we're in serious trouble. If we don't see the war, we're in serious trouble.